in today's video we will talk about that jira boat overview so jira uh, software overview if you see that at the top this is the workspace name basically this is the place where uh, if for let's say that you have a 10 member of the developer so everyone has to visit this website or you can say this is the workspace where they can get their um, work basically okay so they can see their story they can see their defect they can see their issues and if you see here um right now if i click on the project so there is a two project at that moment um you can click the view all projects where you can see all the project available under this jira products so let's say that i am opening this projects so once we click the projects you directly land to this board tab and here you can see uh, the the task that is created either it is task it is epic it is a uh, bug everything will be shown here you can see so these are the um, status so if you see we have a to do in progress and done so if i try to create any issue or epic here i have to click the create button and so once you click the create button you have a option called selecting the projects by default it will select the default project and the issue type here i have the issue type called task and epic so i can select any of these issue type and status if you see the notice the status i have to do in progress and done so three status i have based on this status this board are showing right now default board you can see to do in progress and done because i have right now three um status you can see to do in progress and done so here i can put all the information like summary description and then um you can see that you can click the assign to me so once you click that it that uh, this will be assigned to you by default the logged in user name will be populated as a reporter if you want to attach some attachment you can put the attachment and if you want to put the block and uh, depending on any if it is the stories or this issue is depending on any other um issue or other uh, task then you can define that task name here like that and this way you can create a uh issue let's say i'm creating a issue called test issue i can put that any um any name called test issue and if you want to um you know tag somebody or if you want to notify somebody or if you want to hyperlink somebody you can put the dollar and then um you can put their name like that okay so it will automatically come like that their name at the moment this jira board doesn't have any user i am the only user who have uh, access to this jira board then here you have assigned two options reporter and here you have if you want to attach some attachment so all this fill all this information and then once you click that create the jira issue will be created or jira task will be created and you can see this jira task is getting created now you can move this task from one status to the another status simply by dragging dog so you can click that and it just to storm this it can be moved from one on to the another so this is how it looks like you can go to this bow uh, dashboard and you can see all this dashboard at the moment available you can create your own dashboard any user can create their own dashboard and once you open this dashboard you can see um this dashboard is showing all these details like assigned to me your company uh, jira all this where it show that all the activity like all the ticket or task that is assigned to you all the project that you are belongs to uh, all the activity that is happening on your company this information will be available now you can customize this uh, dashboard or you can add more um, widget here going back to here under this uh, training you can create if you have access you can create your own projects um, so that's another thing under this road map uh, you can see this uh, timeline right now we are in the march so we can define the timeline uh, on which month what story will be go that we can define there okay so this is how the jira over uh, jira board overview um so if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day